An unspeakable tragedy we heard from officials in Baltimore just a short time ago. They say a dynamic search and rescue operation is now underway with state and federal resources. Rescue workers are now looking for about seven people and multiple vehicles believed to have fallen into the Patapsco River. We have a large area that we have to search. This includes on the surface of the water, subsurface, as well as on the deck of the ship itself. This is a very large incident. It involves a very large footprint. Multiple agencies are operating. Therefore, information is subject to change. A video shows the 1.6 mile long four lane bridge snapping and collapsing after it was hit by the vessel overnight. The U.S. Coast Guard says the 948 foot long cargo left Baltimore at around 1 a.m. and was bound for Sri Lanka and it appears to have rammed into one of the pillars of the bridge causing the roadway to break apart in several places and plunge into the water. The ship caught fire and thick black smoke billowed out of it. Now this morning Maryland's Governor Wes Moore called to collapse a mass casualty event and said rescuers are braving freezing conditions and limited visibility to find survivors. They've already rescued two people from the water. One of them refused treatment, but the other now hospitalized and in serious condition. Now the search is on for at least seven others who are believed to be in the water. We need to continue our subsurface search, which is including um, different types of sonar. We have side scan sonar. We have other sonar capabilities here. We have underwater um, UAs that we're working with. And throughout the night, we've also been working with uh, infrared technology, both from the air and on the water surface. Now, Governor Moore has declared a state of emergency and has been in contact with the federal government. Just a short time ago, U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg released a statement saying he's offered federal support and urged drivers in the Baltimore area to follow local guidance on detours and urge them to use public transportation if necessary. Now, officials say the ship that hit the bridge is from Singapore. It's a 948 foot long cargo vessel called Dolly. And the owners, uh, all crew members, including two pilots on board, have been uh, accounted for and there were no injuries on the ship. You're looking at the live picture there from Baltimore. The Francis Scott Key Bridge spans the Patapsco River and is a vital artery that is a hub for shipping on the East Coast. It opened in 1977 and is named for the writer of the Star Spangled Banner. Officials say they will be keeping that search for survivors uh, going. Another news conference is scheduled for later this morning. Alina.